If you love to live an upscale lifestyle on a downsized budget, I'm here for you at Skip to My Life. For this first super easy Dollar Tree project, you're going to want to purchase a shower curtain from Dollar Tree. Now they have the thin plastic and that's what I'm using, but they also have a little bit thicker. It's a matte color. The one that I'm using, you can actually see through to the table. So how many times have you scoured that outdoor table and then just found that it was dirty again by the next time you wanted to use it? This is gonna keep your table really clean between uses. All you're going to do is take one of those shower curtains from Dollar Tree, cut a slit all the way up the middle. It's really important that you find the middle by folding this in quarters. Once you've cut that slit to the center on the short side of your shower curtain, all you'll do is spread it around your umbrella and lay it flat on that table. Now, in order to keep it secure, you can put a little duct tape there, you could put some Velcro there, or you could just place a rock or something heavy on that spot. Now your table is fresh and ready to use next time you need to. Next, we're going to use some Dollar Tree cooking racks to make some wall storage. Now, if you live in a small space like my husband and I do, you know that storage is at a premium. So we're going to make the most of our walls. We're just going to take some of those drying racks, zip tie them together and zip tie some hooks and cups onto them and voila, you have beautiful storage. even more storage, especially on the backs of your doors, you'll want to pick up one of the shower caddies from Dollar Tree. I used some wire cutters to remove the loop that goes around the shower head, as well as that very top bar. Next, I picked up some clear removable hooks and simply use them to attach this caddy to the back of my door where these little bins slide in very nicely. And this is gonna be great storage for your spices, paints, or crafts. For our next Dollar Tree DIY, you'll wanna pick up some plates or chargers from Dollar Tree. When you live in a small space like we do, there isn't a lot of storage for seasonal decor. So I have learned to use plates and chargers and decorate them for different seasons. They're extremely easy to store, they lay flat, and they add so much to your decor space. For this summer lemon graphic, I simply spray painted a plastic plate white. Then I use a calendar graphic from a Dollar Tree calendar and cut out along those leaves and lemons. Next, I'm mod podging that graphic to the plastic plate. And one trick to keep all the air bubbles out is to get that graphic wet before you attach it to the plate. Here is my finished project. And when the summer's over, this will be so easy to store. For an even larger decor statement piece, pick up a charger from Dollar Tree. And you can use this as a charger if you plan to entertain for seasonal decor. These would especially be a beautiful idea for the holiday season, but I'm using mine again for the summer lemon decor theme. And I simply purchased this beautiful wrapping paper and I'm cutting out individual pieces of it. We use the same Mod Podge technique to line the edges of that charger. I will tell you, if you've never tried a project like this one, it is so very relaxing. I highly encourage it. I'm thinking of making one of these plates for each season of the year. Once your Mod Podge is completely dried, you'll just trim off the excess from those little decorations on the back of the plate. You have a very sweet and fresh decor item for summer and it is super easy to store. For the next project, you'll want to pick up a slinky from Dollar Tree. Now the slinky did cost me $3, but I know that you can buy the $1.25 plastic slinkies. I just haven't tried that, so I can't swear by it. If you have squirrels at your bird feeder, you need to get a slinky and try this right away. We have tried everything to keep squirrels away from our bird feeder. And our exterminator actually told me this idea, and it is to hang a slinky 
So it is um, able to bounce up and down from your bird feeder. And when the squirrels come to climb it, they become frustrated and leave your bird seed alone. It really works. If you're just not willing to pay what the stores ask for decorator pillows, especially seasonal ones, I'm gonna show you an extreme hack to get that same look for so much less. You'll want to pick up a dish towel from Dollar Tree. Next, I used a leg from an old pair of jeans, but you could use any fabric you'd like. You can even buy two dish towels or you could buy one of those soft car cleaning cloths and use it for the back of this project. Next, I removed the binding from the outside of that dish towel. It just laid flat a little bit better and was easier to work with. Now, I like to sew simple projects like this one, but if you do not have a sewing machine or don't like to sew, you can also use glue gun on this project. You can use uh, stitch witchery. That's what I'm showing you here. Or you can use this okay to wash it glue. Any of those methods will work for you. Once you've filled that pillow with batting and you have closed it, I recommend putting it in the dryer with some tennis shoes to fluff it up. And here it goes, ready for my sweet little doxy Bella's backrest. I have a viewer who also has a dog named Bella and I wanna give her a shout out. If you would like me to give your fur baby a shout out, then leave their name below in the comment section. If you're new to Skip to My Life, a great big virtual welcome. I am so glad we found each other. And for this next Dollar Tree project, you'll need to pick up some pill sorters from Dollar Tree. Use acetone nail polish remover to remove the days of the week decals and then simply mount this little pill separator to the inside of your medicine cabinet for an easy and quick earring sorter. Just make sure when you mount it that the little doors open down instead of up. We don't want those earrings falling out. I attached my earring organizer with Velcro, so if I go on a trip, all I need to do is throw this in my luggage. If you're planning to entertain and have a very small space to do that in, I'm gonna show you some simple and inexpensive Dollar Tree party decor. You'll want to pick up some craft paper or package wrapping paper from Dollar Tree, a tablecloth, some trash bags, and a package of balloons. With these four simple items, I created a stunning centerpiece for the party dessert table. This is one package of balloons. The lavender flowers you see are made from the small trash bags. The craft paper was used to make a banner and of course the tablecloth. I simply threaded those balloons with a blunt needle onto a fishing line and hung them from that banner and then used other portions from a gift bag to add a little bit more zhuzh. If you're in a pinch and need a table runner to take that tablescape up a notch, simply purchase a roll of craft paper from Dollar Tree, cut it in the shape you desire and crumple it up. This made a wonderful centerpiece for my garden themed tea party. If you've subscribed to Dollar Tree and you've been following me for a while, welcome back. Your comments mean the world to me. For our next super simple Dollar Tree project, you'll want to purchase some contact paper and also an outdoor thermometer. Dollar Tree has contact paper in some really beautiful prints and I loved this old fashioned French country themed paper. To finish it off, I added this contact paper to the front of a metal sign that I already had and then I simply wound some jupe twine around and attached the outdoor thermometer with glue. For this next project, you'll want to pick up a round laundry basket from Dollar Tree. I'm showing you how to make a giant size Easter basket using a laundry basket and a pool noodle. It doesn't even have to be in good shape. And the third thing that you will need is a table cover from Dollar Tree. 
I'm showing this as an Easter basket, but you could use it as a harvest basket, a Christmas basket. You could use it for birthdays, spring, any theme at all. The wonderful thing about this project is that it's easy to disassemble when you're finished and very easy to store. I simply zip tied the pool noodle to that laundry basket, covered it with a tablecloth, and then decorated it however I liked. For this next Dollar Tree quick and easy project, you'll want to pick up a two pack of the Dollar Tree cutting boards. If you're having fun watching this video, don't forget to let me know by clicking that like thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe. It's completely free and we have so much fun here at Skip to My Life. I also used the two pack of the emergency lanterns from Dollar Tree, but you could use any electric candle that you have. And I also used for the third item, a lid from a candle that I had already used up and just removed the seal from that lid. For the next step, you'll want to measure and cut that cutting mat so that it fits snugly inside the jar lid you're using. We'll be gluing the insides of that mat together so it forms a cylinder. So you can go ahead and put a rubber band and you can put some clothes pins in place on the ends to make it a little bit easier to glue. Make sure whatever jar lid you use is very clean because next we will be gluing that emergency candle to the inside of the lid. Now you don't have to do this step. If you have a smaller votive candle, you can use that too and just set it inside the lid. To form the cylinder of our Dollar Tree cutting board lantern, we will just put a few little dots of glue gun on the inside of those cutting mats. Make sure that the shiny side of the cutting mat is facing the inside of your cylinder. Once you've glued the base of that emergency candle to the inside of your jar lid, all you'll need to do is put two AAA batteries inside that little candle. Now these candles burn, I think it's up to 50 hours. So it's quite a good bargain, especially if you plan to use these for outdoor decor during the summer. They would also make gorgeous decoration for Halloween, for Christmas, or really any time of year.